Hello, and welcome to Physics Office Hours. My name is Eric. Behind this paper, I have a light bulb. Are you ready? See? Told you. There's a light bulb. Now, there's nothing really special about this light bulb, but there is a problem with it. Namely, that it is a little bit crooked. So, I'm not a huge fan of how crooked it is, so I think I'm gonna destroy it. And I'm gonna break it, and I'm choosing something that's pretty good at breaking things like my confidence. So let's use this book to smash the light bulb. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, let's try one more time. Hmm. It's still there. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's, it's not there, actually. It's down here. This is a pretty cool optical illusion. And believe it or not, this can be completely explained using introductory level physics. Everything that you see here follows the basic principles of ray optics. So we built this over on my stream at twitch.tv slash physicsoh. Usually on my stream, I answer questions and we go over physics topics. And sometimes we build things, build physics demonstrations, this being one of them. So if you have a question about physics or if you're just generally interested in the topic, feel free to hop over to my channel and ask away. Also, we have a very active Discord, so if you have questions and you would like to get help sooner, you can always hop in the Discord. All the links for these are down in the description, including my schedule of when I stream. So this video is going to contain the math and the physics behind this build. Uh, we did this, again, we did this live, so there were some hiccups that I'm planning on leaving in, so feel free to hop and skip around the video to see different parts of the build if you're interested. And if you have any questions, again, either hop in the Discord or hop into my channel and ask, or you could always ask in the comment section of this video. Either way, I hope to see you there. Take care. Enjoy the video. <clears throat> okay. Let's get ready on our building stream, huh? Brrr, uh, pow. Okay, so we are gonna build an optical illusion. Oh, oh no, we have channel. to do the math. Let's do the ray tracing first. Weird. You goof. <laughs> you goof. Okay, let's do that first. <sighs> okay, so let's do ray tracing, okay? So, ray tracing is kind of cool. And we're only gonna do one or two examples of this, but let's just do it really quick so I can show you what we're doing. And then this is kind of gonna be going into what we're doing for our building stream, okay? Okay, let's talk about this question. A concave mirror, which is what we're dealing with, right? Concave mirror, ba bow has a uh, radius of curvature uh, with an absolute value of 20 centimeters. Find the graphically, uh, the graphic, find graphically the image of the object in the form of an arrow perpendicular to the axis of a mirror at each of the following distances. And we get this one distance that's outside of the radius of curvature. We get another distance that's 20 centimeters, which is the radius of curvature. And we get one at 10 centimeters, which 10 centimeters is the focal length, okay? So these are about optics. I hope Dodo is here. He can enjoy these with us. Now, what we do usually is we pick a, uh, so what we would do usually is draw up a base sketch. So what we have here is each of these uh, represent a different spot at which we would have the uh, the object, right? So we have the object O, and what happens is just like this reflection. Where is it? I can't see it because everything's too dark. But just like this reflection shows some image. Um. <clears throat> Just like the reflection shows some image, we can draw out basically what that would look like based off of the rays, the optic rays of light and how they interact with the mirror. So for this instance, we have a mirror. It has, and uh, it's concave, we have all our values. So what do we do normally is we would draw up some rough uh, units of measurement. Let's reflect a pony down there. <laughs> Let's reflect a pony. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to try something like that before it's over. Uh, okay, so how can we do this? Well, let's see. We need this to be 30. So let's see. Uh, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 
23, that doesn't help. Man, this had to be the day that I picked my Imperial Units Ruler. I, I think I originally did this with something else. So we'll just have to go with 22 for now. So each of these, oh man, that's gonna be impossible. Is this one easier? No, okay. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't know how much we need to measure. But let's go, we'll see. Actually, I think the biggest thing is, uh, I think the biggest thing will show us when we actually draw draw it properly. But what we want is we're gonna each talk, we're gonna talk about three principal rays for each of these. I think with a mirror, there's actually four. With lenses, there's three. So the four rays go like follow, and I'm gonna draw the fourth, the, the first ray, it goes directly off the top of the object and reflects off the, the mirror itself and goes through the focal length and out, okay? The focal point and out, okay? So that's the first ray. So we want it to be as perpendicular as possible or else we'll get a weird image. So that goes perpendicular to the axis. It reflects off the mirror and then it goes through the focal point. I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time here. Okay, so that's the first ray. Now the second ray goes through the focal point and then it reflects and goes parallel to the axis. So let's do that as well. So we'll start at our object. We want it to go through the focal point, hit the, hit the, uh, the mirror, and then reflect parallel to the axis. So we want to get as parallel as possible. And out we go. And it looks like it's not perfectly parallel, but it might be okay. The third ray goes directly through the radius of curvature and reflects backward when it hits the mirror. So this, I gotta continue the mirror. And then it goes, so it goes this way and comes back. That looks pretty good. And you can start to see where they're all crossing. And the last one goes through the origin and reflects with the same vertical angle. So it goes through the origin like this, and then it's gotta be the same vertical angle down here. By now you have a rough idea where the image is gonna be. So that looks pretty good. And we can measure the image to be right around here. But notice the difference between the two images, right? The, or the two, the image versus the object. So if this is the object, then this is the image, okay? And we know that this is uh, the focal length, which is 10 centimeters. This is the radius of curvature, which is 10 centimeters. So this is roughly in the middle. So maybe we'll say 15. And usually you could measure this to get a better idea. But what we found is, yes. <clears throat> if we do this calculation, which is the, uh, it's one over the object distance plus one over the image distance is equal to the focal length. That's the general image rule. And then if we, calculated this we get 15 centimeters and if we measured it we'd get the same thing like I said it's roughly roughly in the middle between 10 and 20 and then like I said the and now this is the interesting thing this is the uh, measure of the magnification so here we see the image is half the size of the original one <clears throat> so now let's do the next one where we have the object at the radius of curvature what's gonna happen there so let's do our um, are parallel to the parallel to the axis and then through the focal point. Let's do through the focal point and then parallel to the axis. Now, if it's at the radius of curvature, <clears throat> we have a bit of an issue, right? Namely, that if it's at the radius of curvature, if we try to draw a ray, we'll be drawing a ray vertical, and that will be weird. I mean, you would never hit the mirror, so we're gonna skip that one. Usually if the object is at one of the main points, then you skip that ray. And then last one would be our fourth one, which reflects to the origin. So here we see that we get the image here. But now look at this. It's directly below the object, but moreover, if we found it to be, so if we take the one over our, our object, which is 20, cent, 20 centimeters, one over S prime, which is the distance of the image, one over 10 centimeters, which is the focal length, 
we found the distance, the image to be 20 centimeters. The magnification then is just negative 20 over 20, which means it's negative one. So now our image is the same height and it's inverted. So with a concave mirror, that's why, now let's see if I can do this, right? Find the camera. There we go. Whee, there you are. So you guys are, are looking at your image and then as we start to go back up, we can see that the focal point, what happens at the focal point is everything gets super distorted and then eventually everything will come back around and you start to see yourself but inverted. <clears throat> All right, so let's do something with that, huh? That. Now, what we're gonna be making here is an illusion where you have a, an object underneath hidden to the observer and instead what's going to happen is we're going to cast an image based on the ray optics that we just drew. So the ray optics will cast, so the, uh, the light rays will be coming off of the light bulb on the bottom and they will be going and creating what looks to appear, uh, appears to be, this mirror won't stop rolling, I'm just gonna let it go. What appears to be a light bulb on the top here. Welcome to the channel. So Things get a little bit okay. weird. Now, oh yeah. James Bay, thank Speaking you for the of illusions, is free will an illusion? <laughs> I've always wondered about Stop. that. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> look at Tyrion. Look at. Is this refraction of light? Okay. This is ref reflection of light. <clears throat> reflection of light. All right, so the first step is gonna be trying to get things mounted. So what we're gonna have is a base, okay? I told you guys we would not be doing circuits, so the Thank majority you. of the circuit is just this. Um, no problem. And what we're gonna do is, firstly, we wanna get it built up so we have a little bit of a stand where we have something a little bit less. So I guess first I wanna try to figure out roughly how far the image is. Okay, so let's see here. So we hold it like this, we see the reflection, and then as we pull it away from this, so like when it's right here, you see the, re the image looks the same. But as we pull it away, we should see it reverse the image. But I'm not, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. And that looks to be roughly like the same size. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me see if I can get you guys in on that. There we go. So now see how the image is reversed? I'm bringing it over so you guys can see it. That's what we want. So the light bulb is this way, but you guys see an image that's reversed. So then what we want to do is set this up in a way so that that reversed image falls directly onto this light socket right here, okay? And I think that's totally doable if we just have the mirror a little bit away from the edge. We don't really need to be too careful about where it is, okay? Now let's take it away like maybe, that wasn't too far away from the mirror. I'm saying maybe three inches. And what we're gonna do with this first one is we're just gonna measure it out did I get that right? That's a little off. I just wanna make sure it's correct all the way across. And then what we're gonna do is get this kind of measured out, do a little cutting. Now, because I'm not in my garage, I'm gonna use a handsaw. So hopefully, it's not unbearable. And by the way, just so everybody knows, if you are new to this channel, I am a theoretical physicist. I study the, right now I'm studying the inter, inter, I'm a PhD student studying the intersection between quantum field theory and quantum circuits. I have a broom and dustpan. I'll be sweeping all of this up later. Okay, now, but that looks good because then we can pop the mirror onto an end piece right here. We can elevate this. Let's see, how much do we want to elevate it now? We don't want to elevate it too much. If we put the mirror, actually let's just make the end pieces first. So I want an end piece where we can look through, but not 
What's that? That's another three inches. Let's just do four inches. Any study material you would recommend? Uh, for what, Trusa? What you interested? What are you interested particularly? And yes, I have. I can definitely recommend some stuff. So what I'm doing now is making the ends. Eric is also an artist that draws horses. Uh, I draw a beautiful pony. The most beautiful pony in all the land. If you follow the channels, you can get pony for a day with the emotes. I think. Beautiful pony. Okay, so we wanted that. Eight. That looks off to me. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to be nice, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So let's do another eight inches because we want to have two of these, one for each side. One's going to hold the mirror roughly around the center. That's what I wanted that three, that three inches for, roughly around the center. So it's a, for a theoretical physicist, I'm kind of out of my element with a lot of these building streams, as some of my regular viewers know. But we still have fun. It may take a few weeks, but we've built a Tesla coil, a coil gun. Uh, we built a potato launcher. We built a trebuchet. A uh, coupled pendulum. And let's do roughly three inches again from this one. Or three and a half, I mean. Yes, the theorist with the saw strikes again. Dark is the answer. The universe, dark matter. It's one of those. No, we talked about the we talked about that question uh, that's in the title a little earlier. Uh, and work is conserved. We showed the mathematics for it, um, which was kind of fun. I tried to be clever and do it without like, integrals. But in the end. You always got to stick with dinner, girls. All right, and then the only other thing is I want to do... Let's see, these are half an inch, so this should be right around three inches if I do it like that. So that should be more than enough. So the only other thing of cutting is to cut the dowel. We need to cut the dowel at three inches. <clears throat> and we need four legs, okay? Now this one I do have to be a little bit more particular with, so I'm just running right down the line. Because we don't want to have uneven legs. All right. Well, let's kind of piece it together, and let me show you where I'm at. Pick up your toys and get a haircut, you hippie. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Once I screw everything in, I can check and make sure it's all level. Oh yeah, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Like that. And then this one, nope. This one will be like this and hold the mirror. And then what we'll do is we'll make an eye hole in here where you can peek through and see. Okay, let's start getting things assembled. So firstly, let's attach these both to the bases. I think your drilling is against TOS. <laughs> nope. No, no, no. It's good, man. I, I swear. I swear. By the moon. OSHA the would not be proud. OSHA would be proud, man. Neuro! Hello, you wonderful people from Neuro's channel. I think it's a raid. It's not telling me. Ah, oh, let me get this in all the way, and I'll say hi. Hi, Neuro! Hello! Good to see you! As always... Hello, How long hello. have you been a professor? Oh, I'm just, I'm a graduate student, so I'm not quite the professorial thing. Hi, it is I a host. think Raiders, it's a host. Hi, hosters. This has a different ring to it. <laughs> Welcome. The plan is to attach the, the, the mirror right now. So what do I need? I need, oh wait, we want to put it like this. I think I'm just going to hot glue it. Uh, let me get my hot glue gun out and heating up. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, oh, I have something. Here we go. 
All right, let's cut the peeping hole and then I can put that piece on as well. <clears throat> okay. So now, welcome to the channel. Things get a little bit weird. Like this. Then we can peep through and look at the mirror. Nice. Just so that everyone knows, he did not burn down his garage. Beautiful. It's looking good so far. Nice thing you were off camera. Okay, so the idea is to put this right along the three inch mark, like this. Oh, you can't see because of the camera. Oh, you can't see because it's not in frame. You really can't see because I'm just a dingus. Just like this. Okay, now let's do this. What I really want to do is glue this right here, okay? And then you can peep through the eye hole and you'll see the illusion. The illusion. This looks good. By Jove, this looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so is my hot glue gun hot? It feels hot, but it won't. Maybe it's just getting warmed up. There we go. And then let's do this. All right. Is it centered? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> okay, let's let it set. Now, if this mirror doesn't work like I was worried about, then what we'll do is we'll just rip it off and put the new one on. <laughs> All right. We have a few more steps to do once this dries. Uh, maybe I can put a couple legs on this. I want to put legs on one side of it. I guess maybe we'll only do two legs and we'll pick the two that are the match the closest. Okay, so now I can hot glue it. Let's do that. Dear Anubis, help him. What do you mean? I didn't think it was going that bad. Look at this is not Tim the Tool Man Taylor, okay? Things aren't gonna go. This is not you know Home Depot at Home Depot or whatever. You know? If we. I think I want to do something a bigger screw in this because I see, feel like it's not off. So while that's setting, before we do the other side, because I need to fix the other sides, we're going to reattach this with bigger screws. No, it's not big enough. Oh my goodness, I don't understand Could this you tutor point. me for 100 bucks, science man? I actually do have, it's not 100 bucks, but I actually do have one-on-ones if you're interested. Exclamation mark tutoring is the information for that. For anybody who's really interested in tutoring, I do offer tutoring services. <clears throat> exclamation mark tutoring and then just go fill out that form and I'll get back to you pretty quickly. I feel like these screws are too big. Now, the fun part is installing our light switch. So, what we're gonna do is, or our, not light switch, but the light in general. So firstly, we're gonna get our battery installed. After that dries, we can start measuring our illusion and try to figure out where we're supposed to be putting these things. And it'll be kind of simple. What we'll do is we'll just drag this along the edge while looking through the thing until it gives us the illusion we want. And maybe what we'll do if we have time is we'll install a light switch. That way we can flick it on and off. Okay. So we're going to start down at this end. And we're going to start moving them back. And hopefully we see an image happen. Oh, hold on. I can't see up high enough. No, hold on. Let me, uh... My old bones don't work that way. Let's put this up like this that there we go 
And what I was afraid is happening is happening, and I can't see. There we go. It's like not quite where it needs to be. It needs to be like right there. Man, hold on. Is it down too far? Is that what's happening? I think I need the mirror to come up a bit. Oh, snap. We good. Let's take this off for a second. I feel like I need the mirror to change positions. Wow, that hot glue is really stuck. Um, I don't want to do the heating gun because I don't know what effect I'll have. Just be, be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. I think we need it to be higher. I don't know why. Oh, I think I know why. I think I did it in the wrong spot. No, I, I think I did it in the right spot. Maybe it was a little bit too low here. I think we need to be a little bit higher. I want it off. I want to be careful though. This is not stable and I don't know why. You think three screws in it would be stable. <clears throat> He's trying this mobile thing for the first time because I'm trying this mobile thing because I wanted to watch. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, let me know the quality. Yeah, it's definitely too high. I think I want to be like right there. I think this is too high. Yeah, that's too high. What am I even looking at now? Oh, I'm looking above my head. Let's try mounting it again and see if we have any more luck. <clears throat> At least now it's a lot sturdier. So mounting it should be easier. Yeah, the drilling's not working. Why don't we just hot glue it for now and see what happens? Because that's gonna be better than drilling and just keep adding more holes to it, all for no avail. It's not gonna just break it off. I'm trying to figure out the best way to make this work. And I'm thinking that if I hot glue it, then at least that will be like, that would keep it kind of where I want it. How come I can't see the image? I think there's something going on with this mirror, guys. Like, look at it. Look at it. All right, this is what I'm looking at, okay? So this is what I'm looking at. So what's going on here is like, we're, we're supposed to be seeing in the mirror. We see our inversion of ourself, but if I go up more, I'm not seeing the image from the bottom inverted for some reason. I'm only seeing an inversion of myself if I go enough. Am I too close? You don't think I'm too close, do you? All right, let me show you guys what I'm thinking here. Man, why is this so, oh, probably because that's in the way. <sighs> there we go. Let's try that. Okay, so you're peeping through the people, right? And looking at the top of that, and you, we want to look at the bottom of the overall apparatus. But you can't see the bottom until you get a certain distance away. Now you can see the bottom, see? Oh no, you're looking at the top again, hold on. There you go, I think you can see the bottom now, it's hard to see. Yeah, see now you're looking at the bottom, which is what we want. So we can make this image thing. So, hmm, well, let me think. So this is obstructing us, our view. So we could take off the 
We could take this off. We could use the same mirror. Take this off and shorten it. We could wait for the other mirror, which should make it so that we can fit over it. The other mirror is smaller, so I'm thinking it, its range of view will be different. Um, and the only reason it's working is because this is blocking the range of view. One week later. Um, so let's see here. So let me walk you through the plan for this. <clears throat> this build, because first we're going to build this. Uh, we're going to finish this build. So we're going to take off this piece. I am going to take a few inches off of the end. Uh, maybe like two inches, I think. So we, <clears throat> if you didn't see on Wednesday, the new mirror came. It's nice. See, look at you guys upside down. It's crazy. This one's a lot more uh, clear. I actually know the focal length on this one. So you guys remember last week we did the ray tracing diagrams and figured out how to create a virtual Im or image, not a virtual uh, image. And we're going to uh, use that image to create a, um, to create an optical illusion. Oh, let me put on the other camera too. Hello. So we're going to take this part off and we're going to make it shorter by a couple inches. So let me get this clamped up. Oh, I should measure it, huh? That's much better. Hey, and it looks straight too, which is good. I think that might be it for cutting today. We'll have to see. Let's sand this up a little bit. Super near future. Ah. The nearest This is the future. safest cutting you have ever done. <laughs> All right. So let's get this end put on here. And uh, we're going to see about, maybe I could put it like this. I would like to put it like this. But I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's take a look. And, uh, there's too many like working pieces right now. I like have to get things attached. I'm gonna give it a go ahead and see. Oh, actually, that works beautifully, I bet. I'll probably just do that by hand. That went in really nicely. Look, it's always like week two, always goes so much better. Why is that? That, that one went all the way in. Can I, come on, get in there, you. Okay, so that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Now, I feel like it should be easier for me to kind of gauge what we're doing with this before I put this on. Um, so let's see here. So we do want to make sure that it's level. And as long as it's level this way, I have to do it on my desk because my table's not level. So let me go get my level. And then we'll mark everything up, okay? It's like no matter what I do right at the end, you know what, I'm just gonna forget about it. It gets one screw. I need it to be level. This is level. This is what I want. So just forget about it. Now we'll just, we'll attach these. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> it works fine. So we want it to be Tell me that it's still too close. That would be wicked agitating if it was still too close. It's so, it's so Raven. Okay, uh, let's see here. It might be okay. Let's get the pieces and see what they would look like when they attach. And I think this is gonna be the the clincher. Now it's going to be, let's see, what did I say? Five and a 5.9 inches. So we'd expect to be able to put it like right about here and have a decent image pretty much on the edge. And then we can kind of see if that works. But it's the one we're going to get. I like it a lot. Okay. So I think that the, the, I think this was good to go off of the measurements. So let's go ahead and put it at 15 centimeters or 5.9 inches. So right around here, we're gonna put our, we're gonna put our top, 
Now, I don't really have a good way of doing this other than, again, to hot glue it. I just don't think... I just don't think that there's a better way to do it than hot glue. So now this has to be like directly below it. I think that's good. Let me double check. And of course it doesn't look the best, but that's okay. Oops. And then we'll worry about attaching everything electrically. All right, so let's see here now. Oh man, that looks beautiful. Oh, it's just too far forward. I think that's the same, it looks a little bit big. But only because it's a little bit too far forward. But I bet you if I put it like directly underneath it, that'd be perfect. Let's see how that works. <clears throat> Every time I attach something, I have one less thing to hold into my hand, which is nice. The problem is once I get it glued, like once I put glue on it, I'm gonna have a very limited amount of time to get the stick. Okay. Okay, we're roughly right there. Okay, we're gonna go for it and see what happens. Yeah, Mamoff, that's what I'm gonna do. Do you have clay or blue tack? I don't. Um, I do have duct tape though. We could tape it, measure it, then glue it. Let's try that. That's a good idea, uh, Mr. Evil Villain. Which is a little bit of a bummer. Like the light bulb is perfect, but the base is not. Which is not really something I thought about too much. Hold on, I gotta make sure it's even. All right, let's try that. <clears throat> At least I have like a base now. Big old glob. Uh oh, I heard a big pop. Wouldn't that be sad if the heat broke the mirror? This is closer to where I had the last time. Is, oh, the, the candle's crooked. Or the light bulb's crooked. <laughs> All this time I'm fighting with the light bulb and it's crooked to begin with. All right, let's wire it. Woo! Yes, okay, let's see here. Positives on this side. Ha ha ha! Okay, so we need one more clip to connect. We're gonna need the alligator clips for the Tesla coil, I think, so. Uh, we're gonna have to take this a little bit apart after we're done, but this is okay. Um, let's see here. Are you guys ready? This should totally work once I turn this on. It works. Are you ready? The moment you've been waiting for, we finished. We finished the build. Now let's have some fun with it, huh? And then, let's see if we can get it to work right. So you can see the light bulbs there, but like, look at, like what? Like there's, Huh? It's kind of, it's crazy. It's crazy. You think I would break it? Take a hammer here. And Even the hammer doesn't break the magic light bulb. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Let's see if it looks a little bit better with a double A battery too. That's another thing we could think about doing too. It's the difference between double A and triple A bed, or double A and uh, the the nine volt. Because double A might be a better illusion because it's not going to be lit up as much. You know what I mean? So let's just reattach this depositive here. This is going to be a lot less of a light, so maybe this will be a cooler illusion. Let's see here. Or maybe it won't work at all. Oh, look at that. That's dud. That's a big old dud. Tiny little thing. Tiny little thing. That's no good. You don't make friends with that kind of illusion. <clears throat> no, no, no. Absolutely not. You need the nice illusion. 
Ooh. Still sees the bulb pretty well though. But that's pretty cool. Anyways, um, time to build another stand to hold up the camera. <laughs> so what do you guys think about that? I think that's wicked cool. Again, like you can model all, you, you get taught this in introductory physics, uh, usually your second semester. And I always just thought it was super cool that you can like, that it actually gives you like a realistic image by doing it this way. And there's no light bulb there. I like the hammer one. The hammer one's fun. Um, but I love that. Isn't that cool? So again, we're going to need the alligator.